Okay guys, here's uh, batch number six. And uh, this one was neutralized with sulfuric acid. It's, uh, it's actually nice and clear right now. It's dry. I'm uh, just filling it into the containers. Uh, I just wanted to tell you guys about a new method I found out using sulfuric acid. This is uh, 66 bomb sulfuric acid. You always want to use safety equipment with this. And you add about uh, 15 to 20 milliliters into a 500 milliliter and then dump it into your batch before water washing. So you've drained all the glycerin out of there. Uh, you add the 500 mils of acidified water. Uh, to it, run your circulating pump, and it actually makes for one to two water washes as well as breaking any soap and emulsions, and it neutralizes your pH. But you have to be really careful. You don't want to put too much uh, sulfuric acid in there, or your wash water is going to be like a pH 3, which I had, which I had to correct later. But anyway, um, so you have to experiment a little bit. Just add a little bit when you first start off maybe even 10 milliliters of sulfuric acid into 500 milliliters of water. You pour that into the top. Now look, look on YouTube. You'll find some uh, other interesting biodiesel videos on it. And uh, it works very well. It reduces your water washes. You can cut about three or four water washes out in the end and uh, neutralize your pH so that your fuel is uh, good for your vehicle. So anyway, just a quickie and uh, check that out. Look it up. It's definitely a time saver and you won't have to break any emulsions with salt water uh, like I did in the past if you've seen my previous videos. Uh, so it's, a, it's another method to add to your arsenal for making biodiesel.